So I've seen something recently on social media, and it's kind of annoying me now. Everybody keeps saying the Elite is going to have this Black Swan event to come and control us all in the end. Whether it's going to be World War 3, a cyber attack, solar eclipse, or disease X, or all of the above. People seem to think they're going to do something crazy to bring forth mass amounts of control. I think we need to, because they look at Agenda 2030 and go, well, they've only got six years left. The deadline's 2030. We're going to have to do it by 20. They forget that the people push, yeah, sure, it would help their goals, but the people pushing it are also humans like us. Do you genuinely think someone they're like, oh, yeah, we, we should probably start World War Three so we can control everybody with digital ID <laughs> so we can get rid of people on the planet? Well, you do understand nuclear war. Heard it ever heard of nuclear winter? <laughs> exactly. They have to sit in a nuclear bunker for about 40 years until they can come back out. Half of these guys are old and will be dead in 40 years. I really don't think they want World War III. Might, well, it looks like it, because it certainly looks like it, because they're putting troops in Romania. They could have had World War III by now already. Do you genuinely feel like they, well, they have to do a false flag attack so they can think of an excuse to tell the people. They don't need an excuse to tell the people that the people are dead. <laughs> what, what, what do you think? Come, like, come on, really? They would have. They, we would be in war with Russia already if they wanted it. They wouldn't need an excuse because we'd all die anyway. So we wouldn't. We, we can't really revolt when there's bombs dropping on all of us. We're all dead. So get over that thought immediately. I actually remember. Last summer, it must have been July, there was this power plant, the Zaporizhia power plant in Ukraine. I was on holiday, I was in Cyprus at the time, and I was I, I saw all this stuff. Ukraine was, a po was apparently shooting it, Russia was apparently shooting it, Russia were threatening to blow it up, and it would be like Chernobyl basically to sum up, but like five times worse potentially, I think it was something like that. It would be really, really bad. And what it looked like is that Ukraine were going to do this false flag attack and say, oh, Russia blew up the power plant. This is really... Because that would be serious. Like, that would be very, very serious. It would impact all of us in the entire of Europe as well. And I was seeing this and I was due to leave. I, was it the same day? I think it might have been actually... The, it was like a day or the same day before I left. So I was terrified at I thought it was my last day on Earth. It was just last year, by the way. I was... I was just upset. I was like, world's gonna end. <laughs> Walking to the hotel bathroom and got like some, some music on. Like, this is a shame. <laughs> this is my last few hours on Earth. I, I, I believed it. Maybe I'm buying into things. Perhaps, perhaps. But yeah. But so my point is with this. If they wanted it, they could have done it back then. Ukraine could have blew up. And again... Oh, they needed, they needed an excuse. They needed Russia to do it so they could go in. Again, if we're all dead, it doesn't matter. The next thing is Disease X. As you know, Disease X is going to be the last thing. Next thing is Cyber Attack. Cyber Attack, I don't... Right. First of all, Paul, World War Three. you could argue... It doesn't seem like it's in their interests, but you could argue, well, their actions suggest it. They keep provoking Russia more. They keep doing this, they keep doing this. With a cyber attack, where is your evidence? What, where is the cyber attack? I've not seen anything. You know, you had Q on Twitter, like, posting, or whatever, oh, cyber attack imminent, grid goes down in two hours. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, your heart drops because you've been primed about it by, like, People go, oh, they're priming us for a cyber attack. No, you're priming us for a cyber attack. You keep... The media hasn't really said anything. The, the media hasn't said anything. Well, they're priming, they're, they're priming us to get us ready. Most people don't even... Haven't even heard about it. It's only me. It's just me. It's just me, the one scared in the, the right-wing conspiracy theory group. There's no evidence there's going to be a cyber attack. And because there's going to be one solar eclipse on April 8th, and some weird Satanists are going to do a little ritual on that day, at CERN, you're like, ah, they're gonna blow the world up with their dark matter. No, they're not. It's just some weird ritual thing. I'm thinking so deep. Yeah, there's weird people in the world. 
and we've seen the videos of him with little weird suits like in this in the dark doing something strange weird people exist doesn't mean you try to blow up the world and take the grid down why would you do it I, you're gonna have chaos it's gonna be mayhem it's gonna be like the french revolution or something something bad's gonna happen it's not in their interests again why is there gonna be a cyber you know what the best argument i've seen is klaus schwab when the cyber attack you know what fair enough that's a good argument but it, it really pained me and annoyed me to see the people saying that the baltimore bridge collapse with the ship collision was a cyber attack huh it's a false flag attack to try and pr provoke this thing happened like a week ago now it was over a week ago and you're saying it was a false flag attack, cyber attack mission, by the American intelligence agencies? How? Here. Let's not get banned. Well, let's hope, because I'm going to say it. Let's say you are a crazy conspiracy th theorist, and you believe that 9-11 was perhaps an inside job done by the intelligence agencies. Would it make sense to crash into the building, have them collapse, don't say a single word about it, and then suddenly two weeks later go, guys. It once the emotions of like the reach the emotions have reached their peak. People, it's not really trendy anymore to talk about it. People aren't as interested, and then try and justify going to war with Iraq or Afghanistan, or whatever country you want to go to a war with. Well, no. Because think about it. Do you at the height at the peak of this? If it crashed in, all the media and all this, all the mainstream media were like reporting on it, playing it back, playing it back. Attack for cyber attack from Russia causes bridge collapse. They'd be like, you know, getting as ready of this, like, okay, they did it, they did it, they did it. And then, peak at uh, the height of our emotions, they go and do something. That would make sense. But there's nothing now. So why do you think it's a cyber attack? Oh, they're they're just preparing. It's just a test run. Why? So. These conspiracy theorists, genuine conspiracy theorists, not like the people like me that sit there and go to organizations like C40 Cities that want to remove all meat and dairy, all private vehicle ownership, clothing rations, restrict your flights. These aren't conspiracy theorists because I can go onto the organization, go into like their PDF section, find these goals, find who runs it, Sadiq Khan, find who funds the organizations, the government, find who runs the government, World Economic Forum member. You know, these aren't conspiracy theories. These are easily provable. But then you get the other side that's like always everyone's controlled opposition and there's going to be a cyber attack and World War Three at the same time and you have no evidence to back this up. Literally none. Again, not a popular video because it's not it's not interesting. I'm dis I'm debunking it, debunking my own followers' beliefs. Never a good idea, but I'm going to do it. Because, look, my goal, I'll tell you my intent. My intentions aren't just to, number one popular figure. I'm here to tell the truth and make you understand about the world and how we can fight back. Well, first of all, get close to the truth and then fight back against these globalist elite, if you want to call them that. You could also call them the J-word, but the globalist elite. So, yeah, don't be so fooled. Long live freedom.